Hello, welcome to the 2018 Summer Book Club. I'm Jessie Manassian, and I'm going to be your host for this Summer's Book Club, where we're going through the book, Family, How to Love Yours and Help Them Like You Back. This is a book that I wrote, so it's so fun to get to do a book club with you all through it. Um, and the idea with a book club is that we each read a chapter or a section of the book each week and then get together to discuss what we read and to find out um, if we have similar experiences with that information. But because this is a video book club, it's going to be a little more one-sided. What I will try to do is not repeat the information that you've already read in the book and instead focus on what I'm learning um, about family because I'm still learning about family even though... Um, I've been doing this for a few years now and, and wrote this book. I'm still learning different nuances of how to do family well. Um, if there's one thing I know about summer, it's that you usually go into summer thinking, this summer I want to have a great relationship with my family. I want to do it well. I want to get along better with my parents or with my siblings and make good family memories. And then usually by, I don't know, week two, three, four of the summer, you're ready to go back to school because you're frustrated with your siblings and your parents are driving you crazy. But I want this summer to be different. I want to do this book together so that we can be mindful of how we're treating each other in family, of those relationships that we have and how we can do those relationships better. This week, we're doing chapter one, the family secret. And as I wrote this chapter, it really was a revelation for me in understanding why God created family in the first place. Um, it can be really frustrating. Ideally, family would be the place where we feel the most loved and understand what it means to love unconditionally um, for the first time in our lives. Um, but because of sin, unfortunately, family can be wonky. We get hurt in family. Um, there's good things about it, too. Um, but I, I spent some time just asking God, why? Why did you decide to make family? You could have done it any way you wanted to. But he chose to put us under one roof with people who are hot-blooded and have emotions and wills and ways of doing things, and we're expected to get along together. And what I discovered in a verse that's probably really familiar to you, Romans 8, 28 and 29, um, God works all things together for good of the, for the good of those who love him who are called according to his purpose. We know that verse, we love it. We embroider on pillows. But the very next verse is the key to understanding why God has us in the families that he does. And it says, For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son. The good, the reason God can work everything for our good is because our good is not that we make it on the voice or that we have the perfect family, but so that we can become more like Jesus Christ. And if that's the case, then what better place than a family to learn Christ's selflessness, his patience, his endurance, his forgiveness, all those qualities that are so essential to the Christian life. We get the perfect training ground in family to put those into practice. Um, so this summer, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that together. I would encourage you, if you don't already have a copy of the book, you will get so much more out of this book club. If you get a copy, read along with me this summer. There's quizzes in there, um, activities to do with your family members. Uh, case in point, this week, chapter one, Mi Familia Quiz. If you haven't already, I encourage you to take the quiz, learn a little bit more about yourself and your family, and really be intentional about thinking through the dynamics of your family. What works really well? What could use some improvement? And um, then you'll have those answers ready as we dive into the coming chapters. So as we close today, I'd like to close each week of our books book club with one of the discussion questions at the end of each chapter. So this week, I would love to know, this one actually isn't a discussion question, but I would love to know, what do you hope to accomplish um, in reading this book? What do you hope to see change in your family or in you this summer as we do this book, Family Together? So meet me down in the comments and let me know the answer to that question, and I will see you next week for chapter two. In the meantime, have a great summer. Get out there, enjoy the sun, enjoy time with your friends and your family. See you next week.